Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Just Josh and today we're going to be continuing our series where we're turning popular anime characters into Pokemon or fake Mon as they're called. Last week we turned Bakugo from My Hero into the Firestarter. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description down below so when you're done here, you can check that out. But today we're going to pick up where we left off and we're going to do the Water Starter for our region. And that means that we've got to pick an anime. Last week I hinted at it and it's Black Clover. Today's character is actually going to be the water mage from Black Clover, Noel Silva. Had a lot of fun with this character and uh, you know, I can't wait to show you guys. So let's get started. To start with Noelle's first form, this form is going to be inspired by her struggles in season one to master her magic. The Pokemon will have a similar struggle. It's very powerful innately, but it struggles due to whatever reason we're going to add into the story. I also wanted to make sure the motif was aquatic because there are some elements from later on in the show that take effect. I wanted her inspiration actually to come from like mermaids and Portuguese man of war, like the, the jellyfish. She's kind of going to be a, a crazy character that's just cute, so you kind of overlook it sometimes, but it's very destructive on accident uh, if it loses control. The other thing is I added elements like a cloak to reference the cloak she gets from the black bulls when she joins them. And I wanted her to have, you know, the little wizard aesthetic. So, you know, I gave her a seashell for a wand and added um, the seashell on her forehead to kind of simulate her bangs. And of course, sort of like jellyfish tentacles for her ponytails on the sides of her head. I went for kind of a purple and blue hue for this because I thought it would reference the jellyfish better. I know it's not normal, but with these last touches, we've got Silvel, the water sprite Pokemon. These Pokemon are known for their love of dancing and playing with water, using shells as a wand to help them control it. If they lose their shells, they can't control their water powers easily and can make them miss or get dizzy. Moving on to the second form, uh, this form of Noelle is going to be inspired by her later uh, forms in the season as she's grown up as a character facing up against her siblings and showing them that she's capable uh, in battle. She's learned to master her magic and she's a much more confident character. Um, so I decided to kind of embrace this sort of elegance because she is a royal after all. Um, and I kind of want to lean towards the similar traits of like Gardevoir where she's like a beauty based Pokemon and something that could be used in pageants like in Pokemon the series and in the games. Um, she's gotten a much stronger mastery of her abilities and doesn't get dizzy as often. There is still a risk of it though, but I do like the elements that we've added here and I really wanted to make this Pokemon seem like it'd be reliable as opposed to the cute and uh, kind of explosive first form. Just adding the final touches and uh, that should be it. Wizelia, the water wizard Pokemon. These Pokemon have learned to master their abilities and have become more confident and vibrant. They create dazzling displays of water while battling and dancing. They do well in Pokemon beauty pageants. All right, and let's go ahead and wrap this up with the final evolution for Noel. This form is gonna be based on Noel's newest ability, which is the Valkyrie armor. It's where she encases herself in armor made of water. It's inspired by her mother's old ability. Um, and it's a it's very much meant for maneuverability on the battlefield. Uh, so they consider it like, they call her the dancer. That's what they called her mother, uh, the dancer of the battlefield. And so I wanted to kind of translate those elements into this Pokemon. So it would be a very fast moving, elegant, maneuverable Pokemon, but you know, stylish at the same time. So it'd be a perfect fit for people who love Pokemon for aesthetics as well as for combat efficiency. Efficiency. Um, I really, really enjoyed trying to incorporate those elements uh, from the first couple forms into this one without going too literal and putting armor all over. Uh, making the water lance, of course, uh, and the crown. Um, I did debate turning this into a water ice Pokemon, but I decided on water steel because her mother's old abilities used to be mercury based like her siblings they maneuver they, they control liquid metal. And so I thought that that would be a good typing for her. Um, so yeah, this is the final form Valkyrie, the water dancer Pokemon, the most graceful of Pokemon gliding across the field of battle. It can control water and liquid metal to create powerful attacks. Ancient northern tribes used to believe these Pokemon carried the souls of warriors away when they fell in battle. So what did you guys think of today's designs? 
If you liked them enough that you'd want to own them, just like last week, I went ahead and I made some cool streetwear inspired designs using today's characters. I'll put them on screen now. If you guys like the way they look and you'd like to pick some up, the link for those is down in the description below. And any purchases on the website really, really go to help my channel and to basically help me make more videos and make more content. So I'd be forever grateful. Thank you. Um, but beyond that, if you'd also like to help me out even more, <laughs> you could hit the, the like, you know, like this video and hit the notification bell, you know, the whole spiel. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And what did you guys think of the video? I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments down below. And also, what Pokemon would you like to see me do next? Or better yet, what anime character would you like to see me do next? Um, I'd love to get your feedback as well. Uh, next week's Pokemon has already been decided though, but for future videos, it'd be great. And speaking of next week's Pokemon, of course, the anime that we're gonna pick has to be an iconic one. And I've decided that the grass starter is gonna be a character from One Piece. So uh, go ahead and uh, put your thoughts below. Let me know what, who you think it's gonna be. I'd like to see what everybody's head goes for that. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching everyone. And until next time, uh, toodles. Bye.